Hey, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Guard. I'm live on the campus of the University of Michigan out here in Ann Arbor. I'm looking for a Big Guard that's featuring on episode four. So we gonna walk around campus and we gonna look to see where we find them. So we start here at the Dyad. Frankie! What's good, my guy? It's poppin', man. It's an honor. Yes, Definitely sir. to be on campus, man. Nah, I appreciate y'all for having man. me, bro. Appreciate big time, you. big time. Yes, sir. All the way from the West Coast to the East Coast, man. Yeah. Outside of the weather, what yeah. made you choose a school like it was Michigan? Really the, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't, you can't step on that. We gotta oh. go around that. Okay, that's you tradition. Go around, yeah, you, yeah, you can't step on that. That's disrespectful one. Okay. And, and anybody who step on it is gonna fail their first exam, so you can't do that. Hey, that's the tale. And then I'm with you. You ain't got no exam, so I feel like if you step on it, I'm gonna fail my exam. I okay. Don't need that. At the University of Michigan, man, make sure you don't step on the M. Don't step on the M. Even when you are the court, man. So you always out east. Um, what made you just make the jump to uh, go from the West Coast to the East Coast? It was really the culture. Uh, I talked with the coaches. Uh, it wasn't really about if I was on the East Coast or not. It was more about where I felt like I was at home. Okay. And since I've been here, it felt like home. So that's the best thing about it. Coaching, the players, it's all a culture that I wanted to be a part of. Okay, so that's a three hour time difference. Yeah. Man. Have you adjusted to going three hours into the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been good. I, I, I had to sleep a little bit, a lot more than usual, but I'm, I'm good now. Okay, Michigan is a prestige university. Yeah. I mean, you got a great coach like Jawan Howard. Washington Bullets select Jawan Howard from the University of Michigan. And what makes him Jawan Howard? One, he's been there before. Where we okay. all trying to go at the end of the day, he's been there. And he's just a, he's a player's coach. He, he been through a lot of things we've been through growing up. So he can relate to us more than a lot of other coaches can. So yeah. that's what makes it the best. So you a Sacramento kid, you know, but you came up in Vegas. Yep. What place do you call home? Sacramento, obviously. Always. Okay. 916. Always rep 916. What age did you move to Vegas? Uh, I was around 14 years old. Okay. So, yeah. So when you made that jump, just, you know, uh, moving to Vegas, what is one immediate thing that you figured that was different from home? Uh, one, the heat, for sure. Oh, my God. It got hot. It get hot out there. But, like, really, like, the people was different. Like. I don't know, a lot of people grow up, I, I mean, this is not for everybody that's in Vegas, but a lot of people in Vegas, I mean, they got a lot of things that they always wanted. So I'm becoming a kid from Sacramento, not having much, you know, having to work for everything. It was just like a change for me. And I was like a little different mentally than a lot of people there. Okay. So just felt like you wanted it more, yeah, a little hungry. Yeah. Okay, one of my favorite big guards is from Vegas, man. You you might have known him. You want to take a guess at that? Pierre Jackson. Come on, man. I'm Poppy God, man. Poppy God is, is, is one of the greatest small guys that yeah. played above the rim, yeah, yeah, to say yeah. the least, man. Shout out Poppy. You I, don't, know. I, don't, I don't think he got his bounce no more. He, he ain't got it no more? Nah, like, he still got it. He hey, it looked like it. you both took it, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you just got... took it a couple inches up. He, he still got it. He still got it. He... When I was moved to Vegas, I didn't really get to know Pierre until a couple years ago, uh, we've been working out with each other. He's been helping me a lot. He's been a mentor for me for real. Okay, so, so you feel like that's one guy that embraced yeah, you fully. Yeah, for real. Okay, you like, mind sharing a piece of advice Pierre gave you just for this next level? For the next level, it's really just staying, staying who I am. He want me to continue to be in the gym, doing what I do, and continue to be the kid who want to always get better and always want to learn. Yeah. So that's really it. He, he really just made sure I'm in the gym, though, like make sure I'm doing everything I need to do like I'm always doing. So. Yeah, regardless of how he feel about his story, he was the guy that made it yeah. against a lot of odds. So did you feel doubted and you feel like you guys had a lot of similarities as far as what you guys heard coming up? Uh, yeah, I feel like he's battled a lot of adversity. So so that's one thing I've battled. i battled a lot of adversity. So him just being able to maintain all that and still be able to perform the way he do, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, his performance is real yeah. crazy. But I think what you guys got similar is, you know, you both got the bounce, man. Yeah. What's what's in those legs? It got to be some springs. 
<laughs> Man, there ain't nothing in these legs. I just be working on them. Okay. I think I think it, I got a little genetics though. Okay. I played football for a while too, so. Full time athlete. Yeah. Looking to fly like Frankie. Yes, sir. Tell us the secret sauce, man. I would say, I mean, me personally, I stretched a lot. Make sure I took care of my body. You know, make sure I worked on my legs. And core is a big thing in it, too. Okay. But most importantly, man, you got to have you somebody that is willing to make sure you're going to get better. Make sure you're working on your, your body and all that. Because I had somebody. I had Charles. If people be on my gram, you see I post Charles all the time. Our workouts, you see a couple things we do. Just make sure. You just got somebody that's really gonna help you focus on the little things in your body because that matter. Okay. So the traditional route, uh, going to Clark your first two years before jumping prep, which is a route I think a lot of guys should take because I think you should be able to prove to yourself and go be the man and be in those roles that yeah. you might not exactly be in on a prep team if you're not elite. Yeah. How did you feel like that helped you going to high school first before you jump in prep? Uh, going to high school first, you know, when you go to high school, you build your confidence. You learn a little bit more how to play the game of basketball. Okay. like at the high school level. So it helped me. I had a good coach for my first two years. I had a good coach. He gave me what I needed to know. And then going into prep, I had a little knowledge, but I had to get more. Yeah. And that's why you go to prep that, them last few years. Prep is pretty much like showcase though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Prep is pretty much showcase, but it's also another level that you got to reach and you got to be able to perform there. So you got to have your confidence and all that ready. So, right. so you, you went prep. AZ Comp is cross the border. Yes, when they gonna play with Tata? A game yes, you say that you got asterisk on your calendar. How competitive are you two? We are real competitive. Me, if y'all seen the practices, we we both came out there, came out of there with battle scars, scratches. We was all we both always came out of there beat up. Who who got the winning record between y'all two? Me, me. One on one me, team me, game me, me, is me, you. Me. I don't, I, don't, I don't like to lose. Is you all the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, so you at the plan with Tata, uh, senior year, COVID year. Yeah. Of course, the season was canceled, but you was at uh, Coronado High School. Arenado yes, teamed up with a guy who, from around his way, man, Jaden Hardy. Yeah. What is one thing you took away just from playing with him? Uh, from playing with him, it's like you playing with a ball-dominant guard. So, like, have to learn how y'all both going to work together, you know, figure out who do this. But we, we did it. We did it well, so, I mean. And the way he worked out his his work ethic, that all helped. Um, his men, his mental part of the game, we both learned from each other, so it was great. Okay, so it was about on and yeah, off the court. Yeah, okay. on and off. So hey, you a Wolverine? Yeah. We on the campus of Michigan, so you cannot be on the campus of Michigan if you haven't heard of one of my favorite stores, yeah. Motivation, yes, sir. ran by my man Mike. So we are gonna go in the store, yeah. talk a little bit more fashion, yeah. and we are gonna yeah. give you a different couple scenarios, and you gotta tell us what type of drip you put on. You ready? Yeah, 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 I got Let's you. Get it. Talking about trends, right now in fashion, what is uh, one trend that you feel like you on the horizon of? I like I like the baggy style. Okay, that's that's every yeah. big guard favorite answer, yeah. the baggy. The baggy. The oversized. I can't even wear skinny stuff anyway, my legs too big. Okay, so, so you, you more the baggy trend. Yeah, I'm a baggy I don't know if we trend. got too much baggy in here, but But like, some, it don't even gotta be super baggy though, but it's like, Baggy is really where it's at right now. Okay, so I did, I, trying to, did I pass with the Westbrook floor? No, 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 no. smooth? Yeah, the okay. fit tough, the fit okay, tough. Okay, the fit tough. Fit appreciate tough, you, appreciate tough. you. I, I, need, I need that type yeah, of love. Yeah, yeah, so Pete, when you putting together a fit, what's the first thing you choose? Shoes. Shoes. Give us your favorite sneaker. Uh, Dunks, SVs, I like fours. Ones, those are really the ones I wear for real. Okay, see 11s, dunk guy. I see bit. you got the terrors yeah. on. Hey, please get, no, please yeah. get those. Please get those terrors. Real clean, real clean. Yeah. I know you don't know nothing about it. I like to call them Sacconi. How we pronounce it? Sacconi. Out of these kicks right here, man, what, what is the perf? Frankie Collins of rock? Probably these ones. I like these ones. You gonna get them? You, you trying to, you trying to be like big guard? You try to be like big guard? What are you trying to do? You try to be like big guard? <laughs> nah, them hard. Them, them tough though. But, alright. What you trying to do? Alright. This is a hard color to match with. So this one. I like these ones. I like these ones. What size you wear? 13. 
We need a size 13. We need size 13. We need size 13. We go, I can we, put a fit together. You say your shoes, the first yeah. thing you're going to get. Yeah. So the second thing, then you probably what are we going to? Probably go to the shirt. We got the shirt, the shirts over there. We got to go over there. We got the shirts. We got the shirts. Look, here we go right here. Okay, the pleasure. Yeah. You gonna put that together like that? Yeah, it's that easy. Okay, so tell me a couple places you like to get your shirts from. I know online you got uh, a lot of different boutiques sending you things. Yeah, Name so a couple of them. Sometimes I go to Rockstar, get some stuff from Rockstar. I like to get, it's this one place that's overseas, it's called Sheen. Okay. So I'll be getting like, I'll be getting some shirts, sweats sometimes from there. Um, so what's the brands rocking with Frankie on a shirt tip, on a hoodie tip? Uh, Valabasas. Okay. They jeans is tough. I, yeah, I just you told me about the Valabasas yeah, jeans. We got a couple like, pictures. Y'all gotta go get some Valabasas jeans for real. Yeah, I heard Frankie Collins. He put it in play. Yeah. So look, the NIL going on. So how have you been able to just, you know, pretty much seek opportunity from it? I had one opportunity with uh, Shop Gold. Okay. Jewelry deal, get me right. I was going to bring the diamond tester, but I, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to test you. No, nah, I was in a rush. Okay. But next time, I promise you, you bring the diamond tester, we're going to be straight. Okay. So but, shop, so Shop Gold is one of the people yeah. who definitely support you. Yeah. What you love about Shop Gold? What's one of your favorite pieces they sent you? Uh, one of my favorite pieces, they gave me like a Jesus piece. Okay. Chain. It was. I like the bracelets too. I've been trying to look get get right on the bracelets. I like when my wrist look look. Shiny. No Cuban. We not gonna bust down the Cuban. Nah, yet. nah, not, not Cuban yet. yet. Hey. Not Cuban yet. On draft on draft night, we gonna hey, bust no. down the Cuban. When y'all see the fit on draft night, that's that's a different type of fit right there. That's oh, a different. Okay, who had the best fit on draft night of this past year draft? A lot of people didn't like Jalen draft uh, draft fit. Hey, I, feel I, like mess, I, feel I, like, I feel like that's biased. I feel like biased. No, no, but hear me out. I mess with Jalen fit. I mess with Jay Suggs fit. Okay. I mess with Scotty fit for sure. I like uh, JK fit too. Okay. Jalen Jalen ain't go a little bit too Michael. Nah, nah. He Jalen he be trying to be different. That's how he, he is. Rock star, so, yeah, he, he rock, rock star. star. That's so what he, he do. You got a little rock. Yeah. So you said you gonna go shoes first, then you gonna go shirt, and then you gonna go your pants is last. Valabas is your favorite place to yeah. get your jeans from. Yes. But is when it comes to, to the jeans. jeans, look all baggy. Yeah. I feel like every Frankie fit yeah. gotta have a fitted. Yeah. What's the uh, Frankie hat style? I always go trucker. I always gotta go trucker hat. I got snapbacks right now, man. Shout out to Bloom Field. That's trucker hits. though. You good. That's trucker? Yeah, it's I'm trucker. Yeah. Okay. Same look. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Snapback so, trucker. Give me some of the brands who uh, hats you like to wear. Uh, Love, it's called Love Lost NYC. That's like really all the hats I be wearing. Okay, so we gonna go over by the hats. They got the new honor the sport, different type of look, yeah. not too trucker. Are like, these are these hats on the wall? What what hats you feeling the most? This one right here. I like this one. It's a different type of look when yeah. you put it on. It got a, it got it a flat is. it got a flat cap, different yeah. style. You got a lot of hair. So. This the Westbrook brand. This honor, the Westbrook brand. This the Westbrook brand. <laughs> it got a different look. It got a different little look. A yeah. flat top. It's not that bad though. You I like it. It, it yeah. might go with your. It might go the with the fit. Yeah. yeah. It, might, it might go with the fit. Real it smooth. Go with the fit I got okay. on right now. Trucker hats all the time yeah. for the man Frankie Collins. Yep. Well, I got your Instagram. I wanted to go through the top five fits right before I give you a couple of different little settings where I need you to just put together some outfits. Yeah. And my man Mike gonna take care of the hats. You know? So let's get straight into it. So you know on how fly your favorite big guard. Yeah. We can never end the episode without going through your top five fits yep. on your Instagram feed. So we're gonna start off with one that you like to call your honorable mention. So this is what I need you to do. I need you to tell me what you got on, where you was going, and what inspired the fit. All right. Can I'm you gonna, can you do that for yep, me? Yep, I got you. All right, so honorable mention right there. Tell All me about right. it. I had the LA to Chicago ones on. The um Rare I sneaker. Had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those pretty rare. I, I don't even know nobody that got them for real. I had some jeans, some little cargo jeans I had got from H and M. I'm pretty sure. I had a Leah T. You were a little young to know about a Leah. Like that was she about died the year you was now. born, wasn't she? I know, I know a little bit about. I know I got a good IQ for music. Man. Okay, the West Coast, the West Coast yeah. always got a nice, yeah. nice smooth vibe for yeah. music. So I'm pretty sure they kept a Leah through the airways. Yeah, finish the fit for us. And I had a, I had a red and black flannel. And I had the Supreme, the Supreme handbag with the, the same trucker I got on right now. It, it, was, it was one of my favorite fits. This is, this fit I had put on, I, was, I think I was in LA with Jay Green. 
and we was going out to dinner and I had just, we was working out and stuff, so we just went to dinner. Okay, so that was just a dinner fit. Okay, so who inspired Frankie Collins style? Man, I be looking, I be all over League Fit page, man. I be, I be looking at uh, Shay. Okay. Uh, he be, he be putting it on. So who fits you looking forward to seeing most this season? Shay for real. Shea. Uh, Westbrook, Westbrook be putting it on. Braun be putting it on too. So did Westbrook go too far with the dress or Frankie Collins? Nah, the wearing, the dress? I, I'm not wearing the dress. I'm not, I'm not wearing the dress. I, Westbrook different though. Like that's what how he is. He could, he could. Like, a, some people can pull that off, though. I think you get to a point where it just become a, nobody can tell you, yeah, tell you yeah, nothing type of yeah, point, because, yeah, yeah. you know, you got all the success. Yeah. Shout out to Westbrook, by the way, man. I got his brand, yeah, Honor yeah. the Gift. Yeah, I definitely need to honor the gift of Westbrook. You know, I think LA gonna put him on a bigger platform. So we gonna get right back into the top five. So we started at five. We went through the honorable mention. Yep. Now at number five right here, it's Young Frank. That's Young Frank. That's Young Frank. I like, I ain't, I ain't never gonna stop liking that fit. You got, that your, you got your favorite shoe on. Yeah. It's one of my favorite shoes. From the like, city that uh, pretty much bred you, so yeah. tell us about that fit. So that, that fit, this is when I first started getting into dressing. Uh, my brother, he the one who influenced me really to get to dressing. And, Cause he like, man, you gonna always be in front of cameras. You gonna always, you can't be look. I, I you should have seen what I've been wearing. So he started helping me with shoes, clothes, all that. The pants I got from um, Prolific, it's a, it's a site called Prolific. You go in there, they got all the graphic sweats, all that. So that's where I got those from. The shoes, I got the off-white, University Red Dunks. Them one of my favorites. I had to get rid of them though. Yeah, real. Still, I, still real world. Yeah, where you yeah. was going on that photo? Sometimes I don't be having nowhere to go. Okay. I'd be like, I think it's due for a drip flick today. Okay. Put yeah. it on. Just get on the ground. Yeah, Spark the, the DMs ground. a bit. Yeah. Okay, so we gonna go into number four right here. All right, this one I was out. That one. That's I was Halloween, out. Frankie. Oh, yeah. Halloween is around the corner on that photo. Hey, I can see it with that, the orange that, and black. That, that was my birthday fit. I, it was my the night before my birthday. I was out with my friend, and we were just chilling, hanging out. I was like, I need to get some flicks. That was my. That was one of my favorite ones too. Everybody liked that scene in a store right next to the case where the yeah. Gatorade, the water at. What Sometimes you people be holding the Gatorades. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Shout out to uh, Nick Young with the hoodie that was uh, most hated. Okay. I had a West West Coast vibes. Yeah, West Coast, West Coast brand. vibes. I had an orange. The orange shirt under it was a Outcast shirt. Well, Frank, what you know about Outcast? Yeah, right, what you know about that? Music, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Frank, you, you, you was born in 2000. Yeah. I can't really. T you a 2000 baby. You, I, I you love naming music, all these though. 90s love, and 80s yeah, artists. I, I love music. Frank, you got an old soul. Yeah. Mind in the right place. Yeah, yes. Who yes. you working out to in the gym? Uh, see, in the gym, I'm playing. I'm playing the new school. I really, I mostly. Play, I've been banging uh, so Meek Mill album. Meek Mill album. Expensive album, Pain album okay. of the year. Expensive Pain. What, what's your favorite song? Love Train. Love Train or Cold Heart. I gotta go. Love Money. Love money? You nah, that was love, love, yeah, love, love money. I messed with the whole album. Yeah. So. Expensive pain. Expensive pain. Make sure you, you gotta go. You, you ain't got to the point where you got the expensive pain yet, but it's I got coming. the pain. I got the pain. You got the pain. I ain't got the expensive pain. Okay. Yet. I ain't got the expensive pain. It's coming pain. though. It's, it's coming. coming real soon. So all right, bet. Now we in to number three. I yeah. like this fit, man. That, that's I really like it this one. You same dunk yeah, that you want on set today, but you know you got a little Yachty shirt on. That's my boy. I I mess with Yachty. Hopefully one day I can meet Yachty and we can like chop it up and all that. But I'm, he, a, I'm a huge fan of Yachty though. He's a, he's an inspiration of this yeah, fit though. Yeah, yeah. I like the shirt. I like his I like his style. I like the way he carries himself. You know, he's a teenager still. He still act like a teenager. He cool. So young business dude. I yeah. feel like little Yachty is kind of like yeah, soldier boy. Yeah. I feel like I came up on soldier. Yeah, I came up on Yachty. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot Yachty. of people don't like his music though. They be like, how do you listen? To, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, a lot of people like soldier boy music, yeah. but over time, you know, they kept they stay relevant. Yep. You know, they know the trend. They understand business. So. Back to we was talking about the Valabasas jeans. Okay, shout out Valabasas. Yep. Shout out Valabasas. Sure we, we get y'all. Partner Lobo, Lobo, Lobo shirt with the the dunks, the SB. Love lost LA hat. Yep, love lost okay. LA hat. Frankie stay supporting the brands who supporting him. So, yep, hey, always. Where you going on that fit? Supporting me. I was. That's when I was here. I was with Kobe Bufkin, Isaiah Barnes. We went out a little bit, enjoyed our night. Okay. A little smooth night. Yeah. So we on to number Ooh. two. Frank, you got that purple on. You look, this, this fit look like a Mikey fit. I ain't gonna lie. Mikey? When I see Mikey, Mikey is the colorful jean guy to me, man. <laughs> hey, this Mikey. Must be a West Coast thing, Mikey man. Be, Mikey be putting it on, bro. Mikey be putting it on. I feel like y'all got similar styles, everybody man. Everybody that's from Cali, live in Cali, you could dress. That's just how we are. Okay. So. You feel like California guys got the best swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We carry ourselves a different way. Hey, Chase Adams. 
You said Chicago was nah, one way. Nah, it's, he it's, he, it's he, he repped in Cali. Bro, it's definitely he said Cali. that's where all the superstars are. That's, that's where they at. Okay. They at. So this fit right there, where you at? Uh, you here? Yeah, I'm here. You got, I was, you I was got in purple. Detroit. You got I was in Northwestern Detroit. colors. I was in Detroit. Okay. From the Little Baby and Dirt concert. Okay. So I had to, I had to get make sure I looked right. I had the Dior's on. At the uh, Valabasas jeans. A lot of NIL. Yep. That's a lot of NIL. Yep. That's a little I had different. A, uh, Dose and Gabbana uh, handbag, Love Lost LA hat with the uh, regular, regular gray pullover, white tee. What are you keeping in your handbag? A lot of guys like myself, a little old school, I, I went through that phase, but now, now I call it a purse. Why Frankie College is rocking the bag? I just keep my keep myself in there. I can't say too much what I got in there, okay. but like, I keep my personal belongings in there. That's it. No inspiration behind this fit, just I'm about to go to the Dirk and Baby concert yeah. and enjoy myself. Dirk and baby Trying to be a little flea. So on the number one, man, I love what you did with the colors here. That's why it's my favorite though, like, back to the hat, love lost NYC, support who's supporting you. Baggy look. The baggy the look, look that yep. you was telling me you was going baggy for. Baggy look. But this is the reason, the reason why this is my favorite one. This one, I wanted to try something new. Like, I was like, I, I ain't never wore no, like, full over, yeah. like, over, like, over shout a out tea. to yeah, shout out to uh, Guapi. That's who sent me that. They sent me the the little the vest. So it, what's the inspo behind that? That one, I was just trying to try something new. And you was doing it for the gram, or you you had somewhere you nah, was going nah, in nah. that? I ain't going nowhere on that one. That okay. one, I was just at the crib. I was like, all right, let me try on the fit. A little promotional post. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. You know, yeah. just support who support you. Support so who support that me. That was the top five fits, man. They're my, one of my favorite ones, too. Dang, I, I say that about every pair of shoes, huh? I got to say, you know, the fashion is growing. Yeah. You know, your style going to constantly grow. Seems yeah. like you got the right guys in your corner. Like, you know, Jalen Green, you got people to kind of piggyback off yeah. of and, you know, be inspired by. Yeah. And that's something you should, we should all embrace. So, look, we at the store of motivation yeah. on campus. I hope you pick up a couple items, but I want to give you a couple different settings. And I just need you to put together something that you'll rock to the event. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a date. All right. Your first homecoming football game. And then the night out with the boys. You ready? Yep. All right, man. Let's get into it, man. Frankie Collin, big guard. We in the building. Let's go. So this is a new part of the episode where I'm going to give you three settings. And I need you to pick out what you wearing. You gonna have a date, yeah. first homecoming football game, and a night out with the boys. So we're gonna start off with the ladies for a date. If it was a fit that you would pick out of this store. Uh oh snaps. I ain't even see this. I like this. You liking the pleasures. Yeah, I like this. But I, like I also I too. also like this one. So I don't know which one I would go with. Uh honestly, I keep it pretty simple. You know, you got a lady coming, you gotta kinda let her steal the show. So I just go with the plain, plain James. See, no matter how I come, I'm gonna make sure my shorty looking nice. Okay. So she gonna always look better. So you than might, me. you might buy her something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I heard Frankie dropping the bag on. No, 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 no. I ain't say no bag. She gonna look nice though. Okay. So today you got the shirt. All right. Yeah, what, just... what pants you gonna throw? No, 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 no. I'm okay. going black. I'm going black. Little, little indecisive. Yeah, I'm going black. I'm going black. Okay. So go this. Might have to come over here, grab some jeans. Let's see. A lot of billionaire boys club. Yeah. Honor the gifts. I like these. Might go to baggy look. Baggy look? Yeah. Okay, real simple. Real simple. What kind of shoes you think about putting together with those? Some plain black? I'd probably go like the Black Force. What, what they call it again? The All Black Force. Black cat. Black yep. cat. Okay. Oh, man, Mike cats. with the assist. Give him an assist right greatest there. That's the assist. Right great there. assist, man. To greatest a point, assist, to a point guard itself. Okay, so we got, that's the date night fit. Yep, yep. So now we're talking about a Michigan homecoming football game. You're a basketball guy, yeah, so yeah, football yeah. games is a big deal. Yeah. So you, you got to go with the vintage look at least. But I, I'm going to go vintage. I'm going to go vintage, but I'm going to go simple. Okay. I'm, I'm going to stay simple. You go to a school with a rich tradition, man, so you got to make sure you come correct when you're picking out the... The Michigan gear. It's a good shirt right here. Okay. Show me the bottoms you'll put together with it. Just, just some regular black bottoms. Regular black. You gotta go simple for the football game. Go simple. Just say it's a maze out game. Okay. Maze out game. Where that? What's a maze out game? Explain it to we. We not Michigan out. students. So, so student section, we're all maze. So we wear maze. They go crazy. Support the football team. Okay. That's love. So then I wear my lightning force. 
with the with the May shirt, black sweats. Real simple. Lightning, okay. Lightning Force. So now we we didn't let you go on a date. We didn't let you go to a homecoming football game. So we gonna end it out with a night with the boys. Yeah. You're going out with the team. Yeah. Everybody getting flea. I gonna take Instagram pics. You gonna take? Oh, y'all gonna take Instagram, Instagram pics? If y'all gonna right, go, right, go on right. Instagram, sh- sh- show me show me what you rocking out. Like what you look like. Being there, boys club. Shout out for oh, real. Yeah, these solid. Shout out for real. I like real. these. Okay. So so we gonna go with these. Here we go. Yep, we going with this. Oh man, you gotta you gotta show them that shirt. You gotta you gotta show yeah. them what that shirt say. Yeah. B Rose. Yes, sir. Shout Read out to, to Chicago. the people. What Shout out one to Chicago. Time. Wanna go higher? Go higher. Do you know who this kid is? Stop it. He is from Chicago. Yep, that's Derrick Rose. There you go. The ceramic dunks. Okay. So ceramic dunks with ceramic the fit on the night dunks, out. Yeah. You on a gram, you turn it up. Yeah. To your forty thousand. How many likes that photo getting? Probably like five, six thousand. You know, some, That's it. some light, some yeah, light. Man. So we so we went through the settings, man. I'm glad you came on a fourth episode of How Fly's Your Favorite Big Guard. I just need you to tell us anybody who you recommend who would be a great guest on this show. My little brother. Your little brother, what's your little brother name? Jonathan Collins. Jonathan Collins. He, he you gonna look at what, what year is he? He's 2025. Okay. Jonathan Collins, Frankie Collins' little brother. He's yes, throwing sir. you the assist. I'm throwing you the law, bro. Don't hey, don't fail. True point guard. True point guard. Come holler at Big Guard, man. Episode four, Frankie Collins, Motivation Store, University of Michigan, man. We out. Appreciate you for having me. Love.